Yo, hello everyone, it's me Robert, what's up, Dobry den, hello, bună ziua. Damn, this is starting, it's starting to be a very crowded place, a very crowded room. Ah. I hope I won't drop anything in my room. I'm not sure if I'll be able to watch your comments because usually I read that from my uh, work, fo work fo phone but right now it's on very low battery and it doesn't want to charge very fast Wait a second, hello everyone and welcome to the stream um, Hello Stug 1184 and thank you, welcome. You cannot see me because of the huge box. And because we are talking about Czech gas mask in this live stream, uh, I cannot miss a good old Sarup ramen beer. Hello, five years ago, five years ago. Let me go, let, let me know if the lighting and the sound is okay. And in fact, this Sarup ramen beer uh, is from the Czech Republic uh, for the Czech market. I was lucky, I was very lucky to meet Dominic, the guy from the Czech Republic. I was lucky to meet him in person. And he gave me a huge supply of Czech beers, including a six pack of uh, Sarup ramen. So yeah. Uh, this is going to be fun and apparently uh, my work phone is dying, I have another phone but I will have to to use the Wi-Fi, I hope that won't uh, break the, the stream. Andre, wait, you are retarded, uh, you will have it personally, I do not understand why you are so enthusiastic. So yeah, let's take a sip and dive right into it. It's really hot outside nowadays in Romania. I don't know what's happening, but it's very, very hot, above 35 degrees as far as I know. So, Norok. Um, I'll take my trusty uh, multi tool. Uh, oh, should I do this? Let's, oh. And I, I'm pretty curious if I can see my own face. Yeah, if I lean a little bit, uh, I should have put the phone a bit more above. Uh, I will open it right here. Just the tip of it so I don't cut the inside of the package. Some uh, something fell in another room. This package arrived quite quickly, like in a week or so. And what I had uh, to send to the Czech Republic, I as I said, I was lucky to meet Dominic and gave everything in person to him. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, I was lucky enough to get again in person from him the, the child gas mask that was involved in this trade. Uh, uh, what address are you talking about? Yeah, the it was I, I just changed my phone. I have an iPhone right now. And for some reason, it asked uh, me to to 
start the the location stuff and mm, let me check out one thing and I wasn't I, I, ah I mean the address on the package uh, I got scared a little bit yeah anyways uh, I don't think you guys can see the address on the package I hope not I don't want to ah it's like very visible uh, okay yeah, that's that's anyway my address from my workplace. I don't believe somebody will send me like death threats or retarded packages. Uh, but I don't want to get in trouble with my friends from the Czech Republic. Uh, huh, I cannot cut this. So thank you, Andre, for the. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Oh it, oh, it doesn't have 6 kilograms, it actually has like uh, 10 kilograms. Hello, hello everyone. A bit more of tape here. Ah, fuck. That's holding in place the package. Money shots. I miss iDubs unboxings. Some empty bags, and we can see the first layer of gas mask here. Oh, I don't think it's so good that everything will fall. I'll put it like this so you guys can see me and I can also do this first thing first we've got the M52U very nice gas mask it's a clone of the Soviet S Agen 41 it has a short valve assembly I'm not going to take out the sleeve because because it's a pain in the ass to put it back uh, and it's called M52U because I mean as they told me that say guys is because it comes with this sleeve yeah my, my work phone is going to die uh, and the hose it's very interesting it's made of rubber and it's of a great type of rubber that I've never seen before it shows here on the stamp that it's made in 1953 it's a size 3 gas mask and compared to other uh, masks it has a long serial number here a longer than usual again size 3 here on the other side a little stamp here okay size 3 should fit me but I'm very sweaty right now and I won't try that oh nice more stamps and they are very clear what I really like about this gas mask is that it is extremely clean from the first uh, from the first sight. I don't even intention cleaning it. Uh, the Czechoslovakian military stamp and the date of production quite uh, quite visible there, and some more stamps on the sleeve. Okay. I'll put it right here. Next thing that I see is a big canvas box, a uh, big canvas carrier, quite similar to the SHM41 carrier, but with very different uh, ways of closing it. Let's open it. Pretty big and pretty heavy. Okay, here we have the M60, uh, the copy of the SHM41M, the updated SHM41 with longer uh, valve assembly. Uh, very similar in color, I mean, the rubber color is very similar to the Hungarian uh, 60M. But this time, no more stamps on the inside, only a very small one, now in red. Uh, 
I'm not sure if you are going to see it. It's the same Czechoslovakian army uh, stamp. This one is size 2 and made in 1961. It seems that the Czechs uh, like, like the big stamps. Not gonna lie. Here we have the chunky filter OF11 made in 1964. It seems sealed and everything okay. Here is the filter. And we have another hose inside. The, the inside of the. Oh! Also some extra stuff. The hose is extremely similar to the one used on uh, M62. I'll put it back here. I'll put only the face pieces on the table. It seems like oh, the the work phone just went game over. I'll use this one. I just hope the stream won't be disturbed. Uh, because I am going to stream using the wi uh, Wi-Fi and I am also going to watch the stream also using the same Wi-Fi. Uh, if it's laggy or something like that, let me know so I'll start my uh, um, my da my data on the recording phone. Oh, very nice. What is this? I think it's something like uh, anti-fogging uh, anti soap, yeah, it looks like caramel, <laughs> nice, uh, very different from the other Warsaw packed anti-fogging uh, pens. I'll put filters and other accessories uh, down. Okay. Here I know already what it is, and I like that it comes in in a check paper. Uh, it's not gas mask related in any way, but it's a beautiful thing nevertheless. You know what I mean. Check. Czech Hosl. If you can see the stamp right there. Uh, five years ago, five years ago, I'm not going to give the Zelinski command to anyone. So yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. A very nice glass vase. He packed it very well. I'll take a closer look to it a bit later. Again guys, if the stream is a bit laggy, just let me know. I'm see I'm seeing here with my little eye of filter still covered in the paper. Please don't don't hate me, but I like opening these filters. Moth filter from 1963. I usually use this paper to fill uh, the inside of the gas mask. I mean, it's so hot in here. I know beer is not going to help me a lot, but I like this beer. Here we've got this gas mask that I was looking for for a while. It's nice that it still it is still sealed in the bag. It's from 1962, and I think it still it also has the instruction the instructions inside of it. Uh, Andre, uh, again, you are retarded, my dude, because imagine having a fan on the ba a background, and it's not that easy just buy a fan. I will open it. It seems like it is from 1962, and it's a size 5. That's huge. Uh, I'll be a bit ashamed, to be honest, but <coughs> I... I cannot really remember right now what gas mask is this one. I mean, it's uh, a CM gas mask. I think it's a CM3 if I'm not wrong. I'll keep the plastic bag. 
Then the, the mask is in mint condition. The stamps, the 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 rubber stamps, are very are still very obvious. Let's say it's filled with some uh, paper. Uh, Victor told me that this gas mask was actually. I, I think this this is the one that he told me about. It was checked. Uh, it was checked like extremely recently, like in the twenty first century like a quality check I like, I mean I love the back like furniture on this one I'll keep everything Yes, CM3 It's CM3 because it's from the Czech Republic Oh, what the hell is this? Convosort Kovos, or Kovosrot yeah, I have no idea what this is. I, I don't need the instructions manual. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. Maybe Victor or uh, Dominic will give me an explanation. Ah, uh, more, more Czech uh, newspapers. Here we have the simple. Uh, M52, it's the same like M M52U, but you, this one doesn't come with the sleeve. I mean, you can detach that sleeve, I believe, and maybe put it on this one. Uh, very, very similar uh, uh, valve to the, to the SH-141, identical, I might say. This one seems to may be made in 1955. The rub rubber is in very good quality, it doesn't have any cracks in it. Again, the gas mask is extremely clean. I will ask Victor and Dominic if they cleaned the gas mask prior sending them because I think I've never received gas mask in such clean condition. Uh, this one is as well size 3. Uh, the irings are a very little bit rusted out, but that's not a problem. That could be easily fixed. A lot of stamps inside. Hello, Drop Dead, and Zdrasvitya, uh, uh, and welcome to my stream. Uh, look how many overlaid stamps are here. Mm, here are mm, not that many, but oh my god, so many stamps in the same place. I'll try to put this in some kind of order, let's see. Something like this and like this. I'll put the filter down. <laughs> oh, people from Canada are also watching. Hello, hello, and welcome. More newspaper. I see something that Andre from the live chat is killing me about, the CM5, <coughs> because one is for me and one is for him. This is a very interesting looking gas mask, if you ask me. It's quite ugly, in my opinion. I don't know, I just don't like the big nose thing, and it's very bulky, but I still find it very interesting. I find, I find it funny that it has a a long piece of rubber right here to separate something like the left and right eye it has a Oreo nas nasal cup inside quite a big one the mask itself it's a very big size it's like size 5 or something uh, is this a fast yeah it's quite a fast uh, fast adjust uh, head harness the this one is it's quite the it's quite dusty but I don't I don't find that a huge problem and it it, it was made in two thousand and one this is quite a new mask I would say it's only twenty years old compared to these ones that are extremely old oh even people from California hello hello everyone. People from all over the world. I, I'm even though it's not extremely clean. I want to try this gas mask. I just want to see how it fits me. Ah, 
let's release this a little bit. Oh, quite quite easy to do that. Come on, you Holy shit, it is size 5, size 5, and it fits me like a glove. It, oh my god, it, it, it even does the seal. Whew. Nice! I, I wasn't expecting it to, to fit me, but it fits me pretty well. Wow, I'm, I, I'm impressed. And I already see the second one here, which is also size 5. This one made as well in 2001. This is a little bit bent here. But both of them are in great shape. Amazing masks. I like that uh, the, there is written uh, CM5 here. And it's written on the side of the intake valve. The, the, the thread... Uh, 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 how should I call it? Uh, the thread type it's RD40 uh, I don't know how to, to re read this in English uh, 40 by 1 1 1 slash 7 maybe you can see it uh, let me know guys if, if you can read those Okay, so I've got two of these, and my rule of thumb is, if I'm uh, involved in a trade, and I receive, uh, or I buy gas mask for me and for fellow uh, collectors, my rule of thumb is that I choose what masks uh, are mine, and I, I don't care if yours is not in the same condition. You might uh, see that I'm a scumbag, but after all, I'm the one that goes to the post office and so on. Here we've got a big one. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. What material is this? I think it's something... I, I don't think this is plastic. It feels like some kind of cardboard <coughs> nice carrier let me know guys if you can guess what gas mask is this oh no 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 money shot oh nice nice yeah it's, it's some kind of cardboard It's, uh, it's a CO1 in mint condition. It has a, a very, a very. This this looks like very cheap toilet paper. I think I just got pranked by the chick guys. Uh, so yeah, th this one looks like really good. Uh, I wasn't really looking for this gas mask, but uh, Victor convinced me it's a cool looking mask and it's worth it. It's very, it's very floppy. It's as floppy as the M74, I might say. Uh, and, the, and the mask itself looks very interesting. I do not really see any stamps on it, to be honest. On the inside, I don't think it's... I, I, I see a, a number, a serial number, 62331. Uh, but on the outside, another very, very small stamp, like 4 by 40 mm. I cannot unscrew that. I really like how this mask looks like. It's, it's very rarely that uh, when uh, I really want to, to wear a gas mask. I mean, I don't have nothing against it, but I usually just wear, wear them or try them after I clean them, but that's not that's not mandatory. I'll put the the bolts down so there is enough light light to see the masks. 
Uh, Andrei, uh, to be honest, I cannot answer you right now. Here it's... I think Victor told me what this is for. It's like an extra rubber part. And here it's the filter for... Oh, shit. Nice packaging. I almost don't want to open this. <coughs> this one has more stamps on it. And it is still sealed. A lot, uh, quite a lot of dust. It's still sealed. I don't think... Oh my god, it makes so much noise. I wonder if it is leaking, but... I, I, I don't think I've ever heard such a, a noisy filter. And here we have uh, a date, finally, 1951. CF250. Another stamp from 1952. And I cannot read the other stuff. But still, it seems like the check uh, liked the grey color over other colors like dark green. And uh, oh, okay, for the CM3. Ah, yeah, yeah, Andre, you are right. Uh, here is the inside of the box. Again, it's very interesting that it is made of, out of very tough cardboard actually i wonder if it is waterproof but i hardly believe so i'll put this back nice i have already prepared my shelf for the upcoming check gas mask and i'll take a short break of buying gas mask after this i mean i'm not giving up or something but uh, I have already some trades planned. Some of some of you guys maybe know the, the, the a guy called the Dutch. I will be receiving a gas mask from him quite soon. Another gas mask from the Norway again in in August or September. So yeah, but I won't be receiving such big packages quite soon. I'll be focusing more on making, uh, on continuing the uh, <coughs> SHM series, video series. And I might trade again with the Russian guy, with Alexei. Uh, I believe this is how I should do it. Okay, going next. Another carrier here, very similar, I mean quite similar to the Hungarian uh 76 m but that one it's not w that wide it's a bit thinner a sealed cm4 we've got here very nice mask as well so we've got cm3 cm4 and cm5 as well and the filter here Ah, ah, I hate when I do this, I don't like uh, the MOF4 filter, it's, it's very light, it's extremely light filter. Ah, the eager to unseal it. I like seeing people talking in the chat. Okay, let's open this one. It's sealed like the sealed like the Polish mask with a black rubber band. The exact same rubber band was also used by the Polish uh, mask. Nice. This one it's also in mint condition. A, a bit, a very little bit dirt here. 
this one is size 4 and it's from 1980 nice uh, again this is another gas mask that I like to have it in my collection because it's part of the big Czech gas mask family and overall Warsaw packed gas mask but again I don't like this gas mask for the same fact as I don't like the CM5 it looks like a very fat bulky gas mask and also this big uh, <coughs> voice emitter but what I really like about this gas mask, remember that I told you it's made in 1980 a lot of stamps on the inside it has a Oreo nasal cap and that's quite interesting because as far as I know this was a civilian gas mask if I'm not wrong please correct me but remember that the Soviets didn't use Oreo nasal cap on their PMK1s in the 1980s which is quite weird I mean the Czech were using Oreo nasal cups already for the civilian gas mask. Let's lay it down here. And I think here are the last gas masks. Pretty big packages. Pretty big carriers. Here it is. Made of a very interesting material. I believe it is waterproof. And we've got here the M10M. I hoped it would be the M10 first, but that's not a big problem. I was looking for this gas mask for a while. I like cheek filter gas masks a lot. Uh, I mean, I like uh, their story and the fact that everybody hates them. Let's see the let's see the filter first. Uh, they are sealed, but not airtight sealed anymore. I mean, you can move the filters inside of the bag, but that's not a problem. I'm not going to ever use them for their intended purposes. So yeah, here is the bag, quite big. And let's open the gas mask. Oh! It is like completely sealed. Oh, I hate doing this, I hate doing this. I don't like to unseal things that you cannot seal back. Um, oh, actually, I, I have a little thing that my, my girlfriend bought, uh, which you can use for uh, sealing back plastic bags. I might use that. kind of breaks my heart, but it had to be done. Oh, hello Exodus! So many people from the Czech Republic. Hello everyone! So we then or Jen Dobry. I forgot how it is in Czech. I do not, I do not want to confuse it with Polish. Uh, I dropped the... the outsets. Very similar to the Polish ones but it's a bit more grey mm. and I think this is to kinda seal back the bag but I'm not 100% sure about that these are the, the filter caps these little bags are not sealed and here it's the drinking cap for the bottle uh, Andre, you already have them why, why are you bragging about it? the thing that I hate about people that have this gas mask is that uh, I mean, I do not understand why but they do not put the straw back in, in place I mean, okay, sometimes the rubber is not that flexible use some silicone oil but it's not such a pain in gas that you won't put this back. And what I find very interesting about the Czech gas mask is that often they put the name on them. For example, here it's written M10M. Uh, here we have CM4. Uh, here we have CM5 on some of the gas masks. But it's interesting that they do it nevertheless. So yeah, it's like extremely easy to put it back.
I wonder if even the Czech soldiers would put the this little straw that way that they find it in the head. As we see in Romanian, you just have to belish. You just have to put this like this. And here you have it. Thank me later. It's interesting that the drinking port here, or how is it called, is almost identical to the American one from the M M17, for example. Unfortunately, I do not own an A17, A1, or A2 with drinking tubes. I only have the first generation, simply the ABC17. Uh, but it's very similar to the, for example, uh, M40 drinking tube or uh, MCU. Yes, or your nasal cup. Some quite visible stamps here and there. This one was manufactured in 1988. 1988. It has stamps on almost every part. It's size 2. And it... it it, it has that horrible feeling uh, of talcum powder, but not in a very good shape. I'll have to clean this one and uh, drying out a uh, uh, chick filter gas mask. It's a pain in the ass because it has a lot of holes. I, I think something is wrong about the position of this drinking tube, but I'm not sure about it. I'll have to ask. Victor and Dominic about it. Oh, what the hell is this part? I'll put it back and I'll check it out. Check it out later. So yeah, here we have the M10M. And the last one, again, a very similar bag. This one is quite dirtier, but again, that's not a problem. Uh, very similar bag, in fact. This one also uses a bit of canvas, a bit more than the previous one. And here we have a, a simple M10 gas mask. Oh, this one doesn't have the, the name written on it. Is this? Oh, yeah, I can unscrew this. I used to have uh, a M10, uh, I got it from Andre some time ago, but in the end I've come to the conclusion that I don't like the state of it, how it was, I didn't like it, it had the M10M head harness, uh, Andre had a, has a special talent of modifying gas masks. Okay. This one is size 2 as well, and this one is made in 1970. Quite cool. Quite interesting. The, the rubber is in very good shape. Quite similar stamps with the M10M. This one has the filters mounted, and the outsides are also mounted. I, I didn't uh, see that at first, but here are the, the outsides. Damn, I didn't wear a chick filter gas mask in a long time. They are quite comfortable in my opinion. And I always have a problem thinking to put back the filters on my chick filter gas mask or to leave them without it. And I never come to a conclusion. The inside of the, the, inside of, the mask, uh, of the of the bag, sorry. I wanted to say bag and combine bag with mask, mask. It's quite spacious. It has a military stamp from 1982, I believe so, with those uh, sabers. If you can see it here, here. So yeah, this went faster than I would believe. One of these will go to to Andre, the guy from the comments. Uh, Sorry, I didn't answer that much to the comments. I was quite enthusiastic about 
the the things here from the trade and I hope you guys liked it um, uh, I need like a bit of beer I kinda covered with this trade I, I kinda covered uh, quite a lot of the history of the Czech gas mask, at least in the Cold War era till the present, the present day, let's say, with the uh, CM5, which was made in 2001, the one that I have here uh, I might say I'm missing just a few of them, like the OAM90, which it's again, sorry for that, but quite an ugly gas mask but it's also used by the Romanian army and I would really like to get one my Czech friends told me that they are quite common in the Czech Republic, but are uh, usually quite overpriced. And the uh, uh, CM, uh, yes, CM. I can easily confuse it with the Polish MC uh, CM6 gas mask, uh, which is quite interesting as well. And I'd call my Czech gas mask. Uh, section complete even though there are uh, there are plenty of Czech gas mask and gas mask manufactured uh, on the Czech mainland uh, du during World War 2 but some of you already know that I'm not a big fan of World War 2 and World War 1 gas mask I have very few of them like the Zelensky command for World War 1 and uh, SHM1 from World War 2 Russian gas mask and I believe that to be all from World War One and World War Two that I own, I own at this point. Pretty soon I own a Romanian MD thirty five. It's one of the few Romanian gas masks that I don't own. It's not a very rare gas mask, but I just don't like it to be honest. It's a very ugly gas mask. It's a copy of the Polish VZ thirty two WZ thirty two. So yeah, this was the la the last. Hole. Um, hello, hello everyone. A lot of new faces I can see here. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I made a few, uh, a small Q and A on my um, <coughs> on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, it's called uh, uh, the same as my YouTube cha channel, Robert C B R N, and. Uh, I didn't receive as, as many questions as usual so yeah I was thinking to make a, a Q&A let's say I think I'll reorganize it for uh, quite more questions uh, because I reached uh, 4000 subscribers on YouTube and I would really like to thank you for that even though I don't make that much content that often uh, I'm quite busy unfortunately and I do not have enough time for my my pleasure let's say Fortunately, this time I don't have to clean that much. I think I'll wash only the M10. Uh, this one, the C01. And uh, I think that's everything that... Oh, open. the CM5s, CM5s need to be cleaned a little bit. So, yeah. I'm very close to have almost all of the SAGM copies. Not all of them, but... At least the most common ones. I'll soon order some some other Chinese gas mask. I started liking Chinese gas masks from the Cold War, obviously, a lot. They are very interesting copies. The chick ha uh, have stamps on literally everything on these gas masks. Like every bit and piece have a stamp. This is a huge space here, unused space, let's say. Mr. Mr. Yeah, uh, it's interesting that uh, I've heard, I mean my friend Andre told me that he heard from someone from inside of the army 
that they used them for a very brief period of time. I mean, some of the units, they were used more like for a trial or something like that. And they decided to go with the OM-90 gas mask from the Czech Republic and wanted to basically destroy the M-2000s. I don't know why it sounds stupid and crazy in the same time. But I don't really care what they do with the M-2000s as long as I got mine. So, yeah. Let's see what people used to say here in the stream because... I was very enthusiastic and I couldn't read that much. So, check beer, check beer, check beer. Edward Christian said uh, that the sound is not that good, but nobody else was complaining. The, I want to thank Clear Slav because he is a very nice guy. He, he always shares my content on Reddit and Discord and so on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Andre, you asked, uh, you asked me about my phone. Uh, actually, I, I wanted to stop my contact with the uh, mobile provider and I convinced them to give me an iPhone for a cheap dirt price. And I have like unlimited everything on my newest uh, subscription uh, that I have from them. So it was a good deal. I, I, I always wanted to try an iPhone, so it was a very good deal. And as I can see in the stream, it has a very good quality if I'm not wrong. I mean, as far as I know, iPhones are quite famous for their quality. And when I tried it, taking pictures and stuff like that, the pictures were amazing. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, no, I didn't get it from Olex. There used to be a guy selling M2000s on the Romanian Olex. But I was lucky enough and I got it as a gift for my birthday from my retarded friend Andre here in the comments. <clears throat> uh, back at what I was reading. Um, Yeah, to, to be honest, I mean, what, what I disliked about this iPhone was that it's funny how we changed the subject totally from gas mask to mobile phones. Uh, is that the, the design, to be honest, I always like like the design. Second to that, it's not a very expensive one, but and uh, it is very small. It's like an iPhone 8. It's, it's actually an iPhone SE. I think it means special edition or something like that. 2020 or also it's called iPhone 2 uh, iPhone SE 2 uh, it's like a budget iPhone but it has very good specifications it moves very smoothly it has very good camera a lot of functions like that I mean compared to a Samsung that uh, it's not from I mean uh, anything from Samsung except from the Galaxy S series it's quite shit I mean Especially the camera is not good at all. Uh, after two years maximum, you can throw throw to the garbage that phone and things like that. And the uh, user interface of the iPhone it's it's quite simple. I mean, I've got used to the phone in like an hour or something like that. So yeah, maybe I'll turn to an iPhone guy on the on the future. So yeah, I'll just. Chug this beer and I'll close the, the stream guys. I really appreciate that it joined and discussed in the in the chat in the live chat, asked question. So this is your last last chance to ask away any other questions about the gas mask that you see here. See here. This one, the CO one, looks very nice. 
I'm I'm really wondering what size this is. It seems like a quite small gas mask. And it seems also quite fragile. It has the The, 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 it has these parts directly in the in the rubber and this could easily go very bad breaking the rubber and you could not fix that back and what's again very interesting about this gas mask is that it is its own design it's not a copy of a soviet or western gas mask as far as I know but for sure it's not a copy of a soviet gas mask and this looks like it would be taken from a shoe but right now the CM5 it's one of my favorite in the whole collection I mean the way it fits the field of view and so on Hello Martin Vladimir and welcome, unfortunately you are a bit late, but it happens. Um, SM65, well I believe, I'm, I mean I'm pretty convinced that the SM65 was introduced, manufactured and adopted way after uh, the CO1 funny enough at this point I do not own any Swiss gas mask I'd love to get a, a uh, how was it called? SM90 I was very close of getting it with the help of a guy from the Swiss uh, Switzerland but I, I, I failed quite, quite miser miserably <clears throat> and the 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 chick uh, the chick rubber at least from the CO one has a quite different smell. I mean, call me crazy, but I think that not not every gas mask, but some of the gas masks have a different uh, rubber smell. And the rubber itself itself feels feels different. It probably it's another type of rubber composition. I cannot really distinguish it right now. And. But a thing that I've noticed about this gas mask is that most of them are in mint condition, maybe a little bit dirty. The the M52 has a very very little bit of of rust on the eye rings. <coughs> Booming games raw. Oh, so yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, if you are fans of World War One uh, FPS video games. There is the Verdum video game free on Epic Store, I just got it before starting streaming and I think I'll give it a try after I I finish I finish this beer. I just have to, to clear the room prior to that because it's full of papers from the Czech Republic. Oh by the way I've seen something quite interesting here. Czech newspaper. They are talking something about, oh, I think, Polish people, about the American army, something with aliens. Who is buying newspaper nowadays, by the way? I mean, I'm quite curious how much this business will stay alive. USA stock no twelve tisik vojaku ktvertek the Czech language seems as hard as the Polish one. Franci Hrozi Polsku Kvuli Istambulski Smurove something about Migranti privezi na Maltu COVID-19 Why do I feel this says that migrants uh, uh, spread uh, COVID-19 in Malta? It's 
seems oh it seems like there is a festival in Brno, Praga and a few other cities that I cannot pronounce. Oh I ha oh I see that they have the Erst as well. Uh it's a huge company that own banks. Yeah, I think us is familiar here. <coughs> The, the weather oh apparently you have a city that's called Jilava we have a very small town and the prison called Jilava in Romania Praga Brno Slin Ostrava When I try to read something in Polish or Czech, or when I hear Polish or Czech people speaking, the, the only thing that comes to my tongue is like... <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I love Polish and Czech people, don't get me wrong, but their language seems so tongue twisted, I cannot even pronounce most of their words, or even, I mean, uh, when I was with Dominic in Bucharest, I, I can remember three words. Uh, leva, which means left, and it's actually quite an easy word to pronounce by a Romanian. Leva is also the banknote, the currency of the of Bulgaria. Uh, pl plava, I believe, which means right. And I was with him at a, a museum, and there was written something on a a plane uh, in Romanian it was dupo. Dupo in Romanian means after, but in Czech dupa means ass. So that was my Czech lesson. Protivo gazer da cam cam așa se întâmplă. Uh, Mr. Mr. Yeah, I've heard of Tannenberg, but I do not really buy video games anymore. And I'm not a huge fan of World War One, but I've seen some gameplay with the Romanian army and the voice actors. I mean, the voiceovers of the Romanian soldiers are quite funny, to be honest. They, they sound very forced. Uh, booming Games uh, Ro, uh, my advice would be to. He is asking me where to look for a cheap PMK one. Uh, I'm not sure where to tell you to look at cheap PMK one, but usually you can find quite usually you can find quite cheap PMK twos in Bulgaria, either in Olix.bg or on the Bulgarian flea markets. Uh, some of it is zero five. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> cheese, cheese, right, military, and thank you. Uh, I, I know this guy from from Instagram again. Cheese, right, military. Check out his Instagram. He's a pretty nice dude from the United Kingdom. Yeah, the the the, the filter smells uh, sus. It's kind of sus. But re remember, kids never wash never wash filters. So how many masks are here? Two, four, six, eight, ten guests. I don't think anything is missing. Last sip of the beer. Uh, Federico, I for some reason I thought it it was you. Uh, no, I don't want polenta, thank you. What, what, ah, Semovete isn't something like a tank, or a name of an it, it, Italian tank from World War II or something like that, because that, that made me think of you, I mean, being you. Ah, stop, I'm the best beer in the world. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll show you a, a short overlook of everything here and the, the mess around me, and that will be it for today, I 
hope I really hope to to upload the SHM I mean the next video on the channel this week or at least next week a little detail about it it will be a small collab with, with a very cool Italian uh, no a very cool Polish guy so yeah guys thank you for watching oh. Here is the overview of, of the table. So we have M52, U, M52, M60, CM3, uh, no, actually MC3, sorry, no, CM3, <laughs> CM4, M10M, M10, CO1, and MC, uh, CM5, two of them. And here is the mess, the carriers and some of the filters and the packaging. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.